ุทิตนเพื่อคนส่วนใหญ่กว่าจะเจอคนที่เราเห็นว่าเป็นคนไทยต้องรัก Then we had the present perfect. I have finished. Past perfect. I had finished. Future perfect. Will have finished. Will have finished. I'm doing this so that we just have a review of every tense. But I have to tell you, there are many native English speakers who avoid using this. I'm telling you that because I don't want you to be concerned about some of these tenses, which I know people are. Many native speakers just use present, past, and future. I do think it's important to use. There are times when it is important to use the present perfect and past perfect. Mm -hmm. This one people often avoid, but it's just good to understand it when you read it or to know about it. Yeah. Action in the future before another action in the future. So I say she will have cooked dinner mm -hmm. yeah. by the time he comes home. Well, yes. Yeah. You can call me at eight. Uh -huh. I will have arrived by then. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about something in the future, but something in the future that will be done before then. So, for example, you may say to me, "By the time you come back to Thailand, mm -hmm. I will have completed my master's degree." Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, By the time the children get home today, I will have cleaned the house and prepared dinner. Yeah. Okay, that's how it would be used. I noticed that when I looked at the grammar books that are used for this school, that they don't have the future perfect in it, and I don't know why. But I thought I would just give it to you today. The lessons we will go over have a lot of use of the past perfect had, and I think that's good because there are lots of times you will need that, which we'll see today. See, somebody could say, "I had already cooked dinner." I had already cooked dinner by the time he got home. So there are different ways of saying the same thing. As long as when you read this, you understand what the person is saying. The future perfect. Uh, by the time you graduate from college. You will have mastered the English language. Clear? Yeah. Okay, as long as you understand. So this is future perfect. Any question? Okay. Let's please go to page seven. This means uh, the yes. first sentence. And she will have uh, finished cooking dinner by the time he comes home. Right? Finish. Yes. Just cook. Fin well, finish. yeah. You can. See she will have cooked. She will have finished. Yeah. Cooking. She will have finished cooking dinner. Totally correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. She will have finished cooking dinner by the time he comes home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, Ramana, that might be clearer to some people. She will have finished cooking dinner. Mm -hmm.